Take it slow. You the type of dime I'm really trying to get to know. If it's cool with you, maybe we can hit the show. I can take you places you ain't know you wanna go. Baby girl, slow it down before you catch a feeling. You don't know this where I've been, I have been a minute. I've been trying to take my time cause it's been a minute. Really, all I'm looking for is Mrs. Independent. Yeah, I heard the good girls do it better. Love a little harder and it get a little wetter. Go and get good girl whenever we're together. Anytime she need it, I'ma bring a sweater for the weather. I'ma give you the world, now it's pushing it I'ma give you my time, start booking it Nowadays we turn away from all the ushy gushy shit Everybody looking for love, but never look at it Uh, good girl, we're high with the latitudes And you're smart, turn around with the brains, dude Independent and your credit score beautiful You find us here, baby girl, it's a part of you Hello everyone, today I'm going to introduce a new format. I'll be inserting useful contents in between my videos. I made a promise that if I gain 100 subscribers, I'll try to upload more useful contents here. 
but I'm not sure if I'm confident enough to have a separate video for this type of contents. I just want to share what I know based on my experiences and hopefully you guys will find it helpful and if you got something to share as well, you may leave your own tips in the comment. From the title of this video, I'll be sharing some tips on how to budget. Just a disclaimer though, I'm not a financial planner. These are just lessons I got from my own experience. Okay, let's start with the first step. Check the lowest income you received for the past 12 months and create a budget based on that amount. I did this during my first two years of working. I thought since I survived a month with just that amount, then I'll probably survive other months as well. The idea here is to avoid lifestyle inflation and also you can add to your emergency fund if ever you'll receive more than your target amount, which I'm pretty sure will happen. List down the essentials, groceries, bills, rent, etc. Basically, all the things you need to survive the month. Make sure you are able to survive with this amount and always have a buffer. Make sure you budget for essentials that is your basic needs and always keep a buffer because you never know if you'll spend more on electric bill, for example. Try to keep it to a minimum as possible so you can budget for other things as well. Make your budget sustainable. Set aside a portion of your monthly budget to fund money or self-care fund. This is my mistake as a beginner. I did not set a portion for self-care or well-being budget. Then, whenever I felt burnt out, I'll just swipe my credit cards and tell myself I deserve it. So make sure to set aside a budget for self-care. This is really important. We need to keep this habit for a long time and we have to make it fun. Budget for your priority. Are you paying off debt, trying to increase your emergency fund, or investing? Decide on that one thing you want to focus on your budget. This step is the reason why we need to keep the essentials to a minimum so we can focus on our goals for that quarter or year. So let's say you are currently trying to pay off credit card debt. Whatever's left from essentials and self-care should go here. This next step is optional. If you're a knowledge worker like me, set aside an amount for online courses and books. This will depend on your salary. When I was just starting out, I set aside 500 pesos for learning or self-development. You may increase it as your income increases, for example. Now I set aside 1,000 for learning. Remember, the more you learn, the more you earn. Track your expenses and have a monthly or weekly reviews or reflections. Is the zero-based budgeting method working for you? Do you need to try other budgeting methods? In order for your budget to work, you have to track your expenses. So let's say you set aside a certain amount for self-development, for example. Every time you buy an online course, books, or home workout essentials, you have to track it against the amount you've set up. So let's say you've only budgeted 1000 for this category. If the dumbbell you're planning to buy cost 1500 then you'll probably postpone it for next month. We also call this sinking fund. Also, tracking your expenses helps you with your weekly or monthly reflections. And then revise your budget for next month based on your weekly or monthly review.
got an internet crush She's not a celebrity, but she's taken So can't I fall in love Can't take the hint and give up My mama told me don't talk to people you haven't met I guess my mama was right But it's not cause I Tell me what am I supposed to do? 